Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom5. Last time we did a practice of organic synthesis and in today's video we are going to be doing another question. The question involves, the, the question says organic chemistry is the chemistry of carbon compounds. Um, that's new information, wow. The types of organic reactions that you have studied are listed below. Addition and substitution reactions are further described as follows. Complete the table below. Fill in the central column by using only the types of reaction given in the lists above. Use both lists when appropriate. In the right hand column, give the names or formulae of the reagents you would use to carry out the reaction given. So let's begin this question. In the first portion, you can see that I have an aldehyde. I will keep highlighting the functional groups for you. That's an aldehyde functional group here. And you can notice this portion on the left, which is the methyl portion, remains the same. You always have to find the changes. But on the right side, you can see the aldehyde is gone and you are introducing two things. You are introducing OH and CN. So you are breaking basically the aldehyde group and you are adding OH and CN. So that's a kind of addition reaction. That is a kind of addition reaction. But what kind of addition is that? So you need to remember that in aldehyde, you always have nucleophilic addition. In aldehyde, nucleophilic addition is happening. And what do you need for that? So you basically need potassium cyanide in the presence of hydrogen cyanide. Because in potassium cyanide, you will have cyanide ions and they will attack on the aldehyde. Just to give you a quick idea, aldehyde that looks like this. The methyl was on the left hand side and I don't care about it. The cyanide from the potassium cyanide will attack here on this carbon and the OH will go like this. So that's a nucleophilic addition because a nucleophile is attacking on the carbon atom. Moving on, if you notice here, you can see I have an alkene, so that's a butane molecule here. But all of a sudden, I have a bromobutane. So basically, I'm introducing only one bromine atom here. How do I do it? A single bromine atom comes from bromine in the presence of UV light. So that's a kind of substitution reaction. H is going. You can see there were two H's. Now there's only one H. So H is going. Br is coming. So that's a substitution reaction. What kind of substitution is that? So you need to know that that's free radical substitution. In alkanes, we have free radical substitution here working in. What do we need for that? So we need bromine for that in the presence of UV light. Bromine in the presence of UV light. Now let's go towards the next part. Here you can see an alcohol is here. It's a kind of propen to all, so it's an alcohol here. But all of a sudden, the OH is gone. Don't forget to notice the OH is gone. And also, one H is gone because you can see the OH is going from here. And the CH3 is also becoming CH2. So basically, you're removing H2O. We call it dehydration. So what do we need for dehydration? Basically, we call it dehydration, but another word for dehydration from the list is going to be elimination. So we are doing elimination here. Let me write elimination. And don't forget to notice that it's dehydration. You don't have to write it, I am, but you should know what's happening. What do we need for dehydration? So we need concentrated sulfuric acid. We need concentrated sulfuric acid. Moving on, let's go towards this part. You can see an alkene is here. It's a kind of propene. Basically, you can call it propanene. And all of a sudden, you can see that there are still three carbons, like one. You can number it from right side. One, two, three. One, 
two, three, but you are adding OH, so OH added, and also H is added, so you're adding two things. And now you can see there are two OHs coming in. So two OHs coming in, two OH groups joining in. The only kind of reaction that involves two OHs coming in is weak oxidation with manganate, cold, and dilute. So do you have oxidation here? You have oxidation here. It's oxidation happening here. And what is the reagent behind this oxidation? So you will call it cold and dilute acidified manganate. Don't forget to notice that the full name is written like this, acidified manganate seven. So I hope these reactions and their reagents are clear for you. If you do it right, you will be getting 10 on 10. So that is pretty good. Hey everyone. So we are continuing today another practice for organic synthesis. In this question, which we have taken from 2011, October, November, the question says butuanine is an important compound in petrochemical industry. Some reactions of butuanine are given below. In each empty box, draw the structural formula of the organic compound formed. So when we talk about butuanine, we obviously know there are four carbons, one, two, three, four, double bond is between one and two. So when we do the first reaction, it is obviously hydration, or you can call it addition of steam. Addition of steam in the presence of phosphoric acid catalyst. You will add H and OH on the double bonded carbon. So everything remains the same, like this. But you will add OH on one carbon and H on the other carbon. Don't forget to notice that carbon number two will have the OH on it because carbon number two would make a secondary carbocation. If you remember the mechanism, the H and OH are added in two different steps. So carbon two will receive the OH and carbon one will become CH3. So you will write CH3 here. That is basically an alcohol made, which is butan 2 ol Let's go towards this part, which is U. They are doing hot concentrated manganate. So basically, again, oxidation here. What happens is that the carbon-carbon double bond will, carbon-carbon double bond and the, and the sigma bond both split. So you will receive a carbon dioxide molecule because the CH2 will make carbon dioxide. And what about this portion, the left portion? So you will receive CH3, CH2, but the carbon which was double bonded will make a carboxylic acid on it. So that is your structure. Let me write it more properly. So you will receive it like this. Carboxylic acid on the second carbon which was double bonded and the rest of the two carbons remain exactly the same way. These are your two products. Don't forget to notice these are two products. The carbon number one has given you carbon dioxide. Two becomes the acid. Three and four remain the same way. These are your carbon numbers. Now moving on. To make option V, they are doing oxidation with cold and dilute manganate. So again, that is oxidation. I don't know why I wrote two eyes. In oxidation with cold dilute, you add two OHs on the same uh, molecule, one on each carbon. So you will make this kind of structure, which is exactly like butene. No, not exactly, exactly, but very similar to butene. You will add two OHs, one on each carbon which was double bonded. So carbon one and two get OH, OH, three and four remain the same. From the same structure, they are making a W by doing an oxidation with dichromate seven under acidic conditions. So what happens is that if you are doing heat under reflux, don't forget to notice carbon one is a primary alcohol. Carbon one has a primary alcohol 
and carbon number two has a secondary alcohol it is a secondary alcohol in the reflux conditions the primary alcohol becomes carboxylic acid the secondary alcohol becomes a ketone so the structure the part on the left remains the same the CH3 and the CH2 remain the same but carbon number two becomes a ketone and carbon number one becomes a carboxylic acid I'm highlighting it again you can see a carboxylic acid from one and ketone from the second carbon so this is how you will make these structures again if you do all these parts correctly you do get five marks so stay tuned guys thanks